it's Lady Robbins. Welcome back to my channel. I am happy to have a few minutes to film a floss tube and to hang out with you guys. I can't believe it. This is floss tube number 14 for me. So for everybody that's subscribed to my channel, thank you for doing that and welcome back. I appreciate that you are interested in spending some time with me and I'm thrilled to have you here. If you are brand new to my channel, welcome. I'm happy that you're here. Um, this is a channel where I talk about cross stitch and show my stitchy progress and talk about my plans. And I am just having a total blast continuing with my love for cross stitch and my love for needle arts and it's fun to be connecting with all of you over the exact same topic. So without further ado, this will be my final floss tube of 2019 because today is Friday the 27th of December and we have company coming next week starting on Monday and they might be here through Thursday so it's um, it's gonna be fun we'll have plenty of time to um, connect with each other we like to play board games so it is our New Year's gaming event so probably won't get too much stitching done so I'll have to get that handled beforehand so Anyway, that is where I'm at for the next week or so. I thought, uh, based on what I've seen other people do on Floss Tube, that I would do the end of the year whip parade. That's what people seem to be doing right now. And I thought, hey, that's an awesome idea because it will document um, where I ended uh, 2019. So I have got a pile of stuff right over here, <laughs> which we will go through together and I'll talk about my plans and what I'm thinking about each of these pieces. I don't want it to be a forever endeavor. I'll just um, open them up, show them off, tell you what I'm thinking. I do have quite a bit of new purchases and my family is fantastic. They gave me cross stitch for Christmas. So I have some new things to show because of the kindness of my family. But first, but first, you know what it is. It is our mug of the day. I forgot last time. This is one of the Disney mugs. This is one of the Epcot mugs that we've got um, what do they call it? Spaceship Earth. So in this mug, I have myself a half eggnog, half 2% milk latte. That's what I'm drinking. It's coffee, of course. I love my coffee. Ah, love that coffee. Okay, so this last week, because of Christmas and all sorts of fun gatherings, I had very, very little time to stitch, but I want to at least show you the progress that I made. I've been stitching on the uh, Lila Studios ornaments, and I'm working on this guy. And that is my progress. I think I think last week when I showed you this, all I had done was the was the border area. I think that's right. So and now I've got the branch and the beginning of the bird's body. And I'm hoping that in the next week that I'll have um, a finish on this. So here we go. I know it's late, it's not on the tree, but that's okay because I'm I'm just thinking it'll be fun to work on ornaments throughout the year. That's one of my plans. Oops, sorry, give me a sneak peek on the plans. <laughs> but I, I really would like to have more handmade cross stitch ornaments on my tree next year for 2020. So I'm thinking that 
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep working on these guys. I've got um, fabric set aside right now. The same fabric. I can get two more ornaments done. So I'm definitely gonna um, keep rocking and rolling on these guys. So that's like I said. That's all of my uh, stitching for last week. Okay, whips. This is where I ended on all of these projects and I'm just gonna have to take them out of the bag and then take a little bit of time and stuff them back in. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a royal mess in here, which is pretty much the, always the state of my craft room, but I don't wanna make it worse. So, I, I'm there. these guys are in no particular order. I'm just gonna, next one on top, this is the next one I'm gonna show you. If I have an idea of when I started it, I'll tell you. Um, I don't know, I don't know that I'll have the information about all of these. Some of the, I'm, a lot of these, I'm not going to know what, um, what the fabric is because a lot of them were started earlier. If I know, I'll tell, I'll tell you. So the first one I picked up was in this, uh, black bag and it is the Leisure Arts Merry Christmas A to Z, which... I've pulled out a number of times this year and this is this is where I'm at on this guy I think the last time we talked about it I told you I've got a mistake up here these are supposed to be three carolers and so this guy this guy is frustrating me and what I'm thinking on this one is I'm still going to do some of those Facebook stitching challenge groups and if I need this piece to help me fulfill um, a challenge, I'll, I'll pull it out. But this, this kind of feels to me like I'm, I'm kind of done with it. I don't know about you, but when I read, I have no, I have no problems going you know what? This book isn't for me. And there's a million other books out there. And so I'm just gonna, you know, move on to the next one. This piece is feeling like a move on to the next one for me. This is feeling like, um, like a book that is, is no longer grabbing and holding my attention. And so for the, for that reason, I don't think this is going to get a whole lot of love and I'm okay with that. I really am. Um, this thing I probably started, I don't know, back at, well, probably back in the nineties. So this guy, you're probably not going to see very often just because he's no longer ringing my bell. He's no longer my cup of tea, you know, put in your, your favorite folksy phrase, right? <laughs> so, I don't hate him. I'm just not in love with him anymore. So this is this is going to be my what do you call it? Did not finish. That's what, I have a Goodreads page and I write down all the books that um, I keep track of all the books that I've read and I like doing those reading challenges. But I do have you can create shelves they call them and I I have a shelf in my Goodreads that's literally titled Did Not Finish and I'll mark a book Did Not Finish and put it to the side and you know move on and that's what this feels like to me this is a did not finish you know move on to the next thing so sorry Merry Christmas A to Z um but I don't think I'll ever finish yet all right so there's that true confession all right the next one oh <laughs> okay the next one I've got is all right, hold on. Sorry to, sorry to be looking down. Okay, I have. I'm working on the. Boy, that was a lot of looking down. Sorry, guys. Um, the hands-on design, the her laundry series, right? So there's three of them. And one of them, this one, I've actually finished, and it's it was in the bag. So there you can see this one. That one's finished. And then 
I've got to start on the irony one. And I've got to start on the, the self-service one. So, um, those, those is pretty much all of the newer patterns are a start this year and pretty much since April because that's when I kind of rediscovered my love of cross stitch and it was probably um, around that same time that I discovered you that I found floss tube and got right back into it and now I'm you know whole hog <laughs> I'm all in so um, yeah so there's there's those guys so I will yeah, I'll be looking forward to getting those polished off and have um, three set. And then will be the fun of trying to figure out um, how to finish them off and get them in my laundry room. So there's, would you consider that whip number two <laughs> or is that whip number four? Because there's three in here. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. <laughs> You don't have to. <laughs> uh, okay, so the next thing that has, oh, oh, you guys. Okay, this is just a project bag and it's holding, it's holding this because I stitched this for an ornament exchange. And then I've got enough fabric um, in this bag to do the other two, but this is this is not a this is not a whip because <laughs> there's nothing on it. So anyway, okay, no whip here. This is, but this is all kitted up and ready for a start. So that's kind of fun to um, have discovered that. Um, that's ready to go. So um, in keeping with my idea of stitching more ornaments for the tree, this will come in handy. And oh, the other thing that's in here. Ah, oh, you guys look at this. Have you um, have you seen Chicken Joy from oh, they're the fat quarter shop Priscilla and Chelsea the um, the wives the stitching. Oh, geez. The Stitcher Wives, what are they called? Anyway, I know you're all yelling at me, Robin, it's blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so I've got this in here too. So yeah, I've got lots of um, lots of fun things that I can start from this little baggie. Okay, so that wasn't quite a whip. Um, maybe I should have looked through <laughs> these bags before I just grabbed them off the shelf. Oh well, doesn't matter, right? We're all, we're all here just to look at stitching, so that's okay. Wow, um, <laughs> this is our yummy quilting bee by the Blue Flower, and oh my gosh, this is so <laughs> so silly. So I kind of got all hyped up with um, Stitch Mania. I learned about Stitch Mania right as it was starting, and I was like, oh, I've got you know, I've got to, I've got to do some Stitch Mania. Um, Stitch Mania and I did not really happen. See that? That's like, I don't know, six inches. <laughs> um, this was a Stitch Mania start. So, um, so I have the teeniest, tiniest start on the quilting bee. But I, I love this pattern. So, uh, it's kind of nice to remind myself that, um, that this is in here. So what am I, what am I doing this on? I am doing this on a 28 count um, dirty linen is the name of it. So 28 count. So I'm sure I'm stitching that two over two. So that'll be fun to work on that in 2020. Yeah, I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward to getting that out. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at those colors. Oh, look at that old purple paint you see that isn't that beautiful yeah all right I'm excited I'm excited to have seen that so this will kind of um, this is kind of good because it's getting uh, it's getting my brain churning about oh I've got to break out that and I feel like I kind of towards the end of the year I kept 
kind of bringing out the same four or five pieces and forgot about some of these other ones. So this is good for me. I'm, I thank you Floss Tube for the idea to do a whip parade because, oh boy, this is super fun. Okay, so um, I hadn't forgotten about this, but I sure haven't made much progress on this. Um, this is another um, big, big piece. It's going to be a big guy. And this is by Bent Creek, who I've talked about it before. I totally love Bent Creek. And this is um, the Summer Snapper Land series. So this has four charts that you, you know, do one, one right after the other. And what, um, what I've got started here is, oops, that's upside down. Sorry. Um, I've got the, I've got the start of the border and then the start of the first chart. So, um, yeah, summer snapper land is one of my whips that I am completely looking forward to working on in 2020. So I'll make sure I get that into um, my rotation. So there's that. And then, what have I got here? You guys, this is like Christmas. <laughs> I mean, I know we just had Christmas, but this is like, woo! Ooh, I keep I, I'm finding stuff oh my gosh okay <laughs> this is my whip on the um, Pride and Prejudice um, sow and I I have very little to show you on this as I'm un, unfurling the fabric um, <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. I have a flower. That's it. Okay, so what's going on here is this is a 36 count linen, okay? And I'm stitching it one over one. Now, 36 count linen one over one, this is my first time doing 36 count linen one over one. Now, I know last time I showed you um, a previous finish, but that was when my eyes were younger, <laughs> which was on 40 count one over one. And I think I've got myself psyched out about this piece. Um, anyway. I'm not as excited about this. It, um, it actually makes me anxious. <laughs> I'm such a wimp. <laughs> that I don't know what to do about that one. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to set that aside and worry about that one. That one did not spark joy, Marie Kondo, right? Um, that did not spark joy at all. That sparked anxiety and I love the pattern and who knows, I might, I don't know, I might go buy a 32 count and stitch it two over two, which means it'll be ginormous, but that feels a little more manageable to me. So we'll see. Okay. This one you've seen a thousand times. Okay. Here we are. Pretty little Seattle, you've seen it a thousand times. And I haven't worked on this guy for a couple of weeks. So um, this will come, this will come out pretty quick because I am really close to a finish. And I would love to have this guy finished by my birthday. And I think I told you that last time. And there's a, just a little refresher of the pattern. So pretty little Seattle. Yep. That one, that one definitely I'll finish this year. And hopefully by my birthday, which is in February, which means I better start stitching. <laughs> okay, so what have I got? Oh, I've got this. This is a smaller one. I've got you in a, I got you, I've got it <laughs> in a Love You More Studio Co. bag. All righty. Now this was, um, this was a freebie chart, if I remember correctly. 
Um, oh, oh, that's right. I'm not supposed to do that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, this is a cute little pattern by Lori Birmingham. And if you remember my pattern, um, my stitches on my last floss tube where I showed the, um, the cute little elf that has the words love and joy come to you. It's by the same designer, Lori Birmingham. So this is a cute little um, band sampler. And so, you know, it'll, it'll get finished over a little scroll rod. So I'm, um, I'm not that, I'm not that far off on that. Cause once I get the, the B skip done, then it's really borders and words. So this is actually, this could, absolutely get finished in 2020. I I don't have any qualms about this not getting finished so much as I think the, the I think the problem with this one is I forget about it because it's such a small small guy. I'm just going to have to remember, "Hey, you know, look at your cute cute bag and pull that out." So, there's that one. And then, okay, these were now the Lori Birmingham. I started that in the 90s. So, when I was um, getting all, you know, hyped up about cross stitch again. I found that. So, um, this one I started in October, I think, maybe November. Um, this is by Barbie Petal Pusher. You, you've seen this. I've stitched on this recently. This is her Fresh Picked Pumpkins. And... I don't have as much of a start. I'm, always, I'm I'm actually surprised as I'm looking at this guy. I don't have as much of um, much done on this as I thought I did. So I need to get I need to get rocking and rolling on this. So this one I'm doing on um, 32 count um, lamb's wool is the colorway, and I'm stitching it two over two, which is my which is kind of my my jam two over two. Um, so yeah, work on that some more. And this is also in a fun Harry Potter themed Love You More Studio Co. bag. And yeah, so get that guy back into my rotation. All right, what's next? Oh, oh, this isn't a start. <laughs> But as long as I've already, you know, pulled it, um, this is this is all kitted up and ready to go. And this is something I'd like to start in 2020. This is by Shepherd's Bush. This is their Merry Notes. So I've got this all kitted up, um, ready to go. I've got, oh heck, as long as it's here, I'll just show you. Um, this is going to be stitched also on um, 32 count lamb's wool. And here are all of our beautiful flosses. So this will be a start in 2020. But there is, there's no stitching on this. It's still, you know, <laughs> it's still sealed. So yeah, yet another thing that um, I'll be able to bring into the mix. All right, so I've got that. And let's see here. Oh yeah, I know what this is. I know what this is. This is this is um, Lisa Smith, the Kindred Stitcher. This is one of her project bags. So so pretty. Okay, so this is our Cricut collection. This is uh, oh my pattern's all, all wrinkled. Darn. Um, this is playing with Jacks and. Here's where I am on him, and it hasn't been too terribly long since I worked on that. So, yeah, there's a, I, did, I didn't show you very long, there you go. So, there is another fun one, and I, I definitely, I definitely want to finish on this guy by October. So, I think this will probably be, um, a little bit of a, a focus piece also for me this year because it's not going to be done for October if I don't stitch on it and you know January, February, March, April, May, June. <laughs> okay and then my last project bag that I've got over here and oh for crying out loud. 
it's another empty bag. I had, um, I had a, a project in here and I finished it. And so now there's, it's just the, the leftover floss and stuff, um, in the bottom. So this guy's empty and ready for a new project, which is awesome. So I don't have, I don't have as many whips as I thought, which is great because I've got things that are kitted up and ready to go. So that's exciting. Um, I'll have to sit down and make myself a little tally and yeah, make my plans for what I'm going to do in 2020. I, I've got a few things kind of bouncing around in my head of how I want to organize my stitching for next year. Um, I want to continue, excuse me, I need a beverage. Okay. <laughs> I want to continue with the kind of the stitching challenge groups on Facebook. So right now, what I'm thinking is I will continue with uh, the School of Magical Stitches and Literature and in Enchanted Stitching, that's the other one, and then the 24 Hours of Cross Stitch. So those three um, kind of challenge groups are ones that I'm going to pay particular attention to and kind of, you know, base my homework um, on those. And then the other thing that I'm going to do in 2020, well, actually I have two things in the back of my head. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is stitch from stash, which gives me all sorts of anxiety Eek! because you're basically kind of holding yourself in check and you're not just buying every doggone thing that's released, you know, every single month you give yourself a budget and you can only spend $25 a month on cross stitch stuff. And I mean, I can buy a magazine at Barnes and Noble, one of those European stitching cross stitch magazines. They're $17. That's like blowing my budget. So the idea of a $25 budget is kind of, um, kind of stress inducing, but the nice thing about the stitch from stash challenge is when you finish something, then you get credit and that, you know, there's a whole formula and you can go on Facebook and look up the group and you know, you can see the formula. So depending on how big the piece is, you get credit, which, you know, then of course, you know, ups your budget because you stitched from your stash. So there's a big incentive A to finish things. And I, you know, that's the whole point, right? The, for me, the point of these challenge groups is just to keep me moving forward to not, um, to not, I don't know. I had a hard time when I was, I think, I think it probably was the Merry Christmas A to Z uh, pattern. When I got tired of stitching that, I just stopped stitching. And because I thought you had to, you, you know, you stitched one thing and then when it's done, then you, you started a new project. And Floss tube has taught me that you can have all sorts of different things going on and you don't have to stitch all of them at the same time. And when you get tired of one, you know, you can set it aside and then go on to the thing that's sparking, you know, sparking interest in you. So this has been so good for me because I have gotten things done because I have so many things to get done. <laughs> So speaking of that, what I thought I would do, because I'm, I'm kind of doing this to keep myself accountable, is I thought I would show you the things that are finished, that are sitting on my desk, you know, that, that need to go from the stitching is finished to the pieces finished and ready to be displayed. So to keep myself accountable, I'm going to show you the things that are stitched. And some of them are things that I finished this year. And because the most recent thing is on the top, that's what you're gonna see first. And you saw it last week. So 
Here is my cute little reindeer ornament by Lila Studio. And if I have the chart, I'll show it to you, but it doesn't really matter. So um, I need to finish. All of these need to be fully finished. So here's the first one. Remember this guy? My Prairie Schooler Limited Edition Kit. So that needs to be finished off. And pattern sitting there. So there we go. Um, after that, I've got my little um, round robin that needs to get finished. So there's that. Um, this one, this was, was probably, I think I finished this in what, September or August. This is Riveris. This is her whale chart. Um, and this one, I actually know I wanna make this into kind of a pillow. And so I bought, this is gonna be my backing fabric for that. So I'm excited to do that. Then there's a lot of stitching that is not finished. So then here is spooky notes, remember that? Spooky notes, still not finished. Remember this? Let us be thankful. This one I'm gonna frame. This one I know for sure I'm gonna put in a big long frame. So there's that. And then, look at this cutie patootie thing. It's you I like. It's a movement, not a sal. Yep, it's still a movement, you guys. And I have so much of this red fabric. Um, this is a 14 count Ada. I don't know. I might just make Valentine's with this somehow. I haven't figured it out. So there's that. This, I think this was called Stoneware Pillows. And there's at least six companion designs in the book that that came from. Oh my gosh. Um, so I showed you the, um, the summer snapper land here. Here is the fall snapper land that is finished. Can you see that? So that also needs to be finished off. And then the last thing, <laughs> my gosh, um, in my, in my finished stitching is this guy. And this is, um, this one, um, there's, there's a book and so, Maybe I should hold it up right. There's four seasons. So obviously I stitched the um, the winter season first. And that's funny. I don't know. <laughs> I know I started, started one of the other seasons and it wasn't in the whip parade. So who knows where that is. Um, and, I re and I remember when I finished stitching this, I thought, I'm not going to do anything with it until all four are done because if I frame them, I want the frames to match. And now I'm thinking, I, I'm letting that idea go. Whatever is in this pile, I want fully finished by the end of 2020. So there you go. There is me throwing myself out there to be accountable to you guys. <laughs> so that is um, all all of my my finishes that are not FFO'd. One second. Okay, so there's that. Now, um, a couple of things that, oh, wait a minute. I have another bag over here. Oh, you guys, this is hysterical. You know what this bag is? That's the, uh, that's the chart that's got the other three seasons in it. Oh, that's hysterical. 
Okay, so where have I got? Oh my gosh. And I've got fabric. <laughs> I have four. I have one, two, I've got three pieces of that same white fabric. And oh my gosh, there it is. There's the start on the spring one. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. I showed you the back. Here's the front. I think this is a carrot. I think. Doesn't matter. Anyway, um, so guess what? I found my missing whip. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Um, this, this might also be a did not finish. <laughs> this, this has that same feel to me as the Merry Christmas A to Z Leisure Arts. So, um, not so much, but I'm glad I found it. <laughs> Okay, so, um, oh, one of the things that I did is I decided to keep myself a little more accountable. I did go ahead and I purchased Jen Lee's 24-hour um, of cross-stitch 2020 planner, and it's only 12 bucks, you guys. It's not... It's not breaking the bank. Plus, I'm not doing st stitch from stash. Doesn't start till the first of January. <laughs> but anyway, this thing is 86 pages of goodness. Now, I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to utilize this because I I am a planner person. Every year, I get myself one of these ginormous planners. And in case you're curious, this is by Erin um, Condren. I get one of her planners every single year. And there is tons of blank space in here. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out if maybe I can incorporate some of these pages into here. Or do I want, do I want a solo stitching planner? I don't know. So I'm still figuring that out, but that's okay because if I start with a solo stitching planner and then figure out, hey, I need, I need just one planner, I can merge them. But I'm still working on it. Still work in progress on, on what my thought process is. But I have started filling in um, some of the pages in here, even with it not being, you know, bound and um, created creating a planner out of it yet but I'm already finding it really helpful because um, you know there's a, like your year-long plans and your focus pieces and so I think this will be good for me so anyway enough of that purchases 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 I told you last time that I had ordered some of the Prairie Schooler Santas that I was missing, so I thought I would just flash them at you. And they're, I don't even think they're in order. Doesn't matter. Um, this is the 2016 Santa. So, oops, that way I picked him up. This is the 2013 Santa. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, this one's adorable. Um, 2012. Twenty ten. Oh, I love his scarf. That scarf is really awesome. And then, oh, this is awesome too. <laughs> I like them all. <laughs> uh, 2001. Okay, so those were missing in my in my little collection. So. I, I now have those. I'm very, very happy to have those. What is that? Nothing. Um, and then, oh, then I got, okay, I got some project bags, you guys, that came in the mail. And I got two Christmas, or yeah, well, kind of Christmas theme. This is um, from Dot Dot Goose, which, look at that. Look at that. 
spice makes the holiday and it's nice. Isn't that cute? So beautiful, beautiful project bags, which I can fill up with goodness. And then this one. Oh my gosh. A kind of a Disney themed bag. And then look at our yummy backing fabric. So I've got that. And then I was on, I was not on Instagram, but Instagram alerted me that Lisa, our friend, the Kindred Stitcher, was putting up project bags and I got this piece of loveliness. And then look at that green interior. Have I mentioned green's my favorite color? <laughs> okay, so I, and then, oh, look at, look at the little charm pull on that. Oh, isn't that pretty? So I'm looking forward to finding a project for this guy. And then for Christmas, my husband, Mr. Amazing, Remember how I told you that I wanted the Harbor Haven series? I got him. He got me all 12 paper charts. Not PDFs, I got the paper charts. So this I mean, look at this, you guys. Can you believe this? I mean, I, I, I squealed. <laughs> My family all jumped. <laughs> Her opening and I was like, eek, eek. <laughs> Oh, look at, oh. Yum. Oh. So my plan on this is I'm going to stitch it mostly in the DMCs that are listed. However, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna change out the water. I saw I joined the Harbor Haven Facebook group, and even though this sal was done in 2017, I think it was, there's still a Facebook group and people every once in a while will post pictures, but it's great because you can go through and see um, previous finishes. It was it was really helpful um, for me to go through and look at the pictures, look at the different fabrics, because the the fabric size to do all four, all four, all twelve of them. Um, I need if I okay. My plan is to stitch it on thirty two count two two by two, and I need. A finished piece which is going to be 40 just did the math a minute ago 48 by 12 so that you know that I think that includes the border I think that includes the border anyway um, the design size is 672 by 84 so it's a it's a huge honking piece of fabric that I need um, yeah, but I, I think I'm going to do 32 count, um, two over two. I thought about doing 30, 36, one over one. But what's interesting is it becomes, instead of 12 inches tall, it becomes like nine inches tall. And it actually felt like for that amount of work, it's not big enough. So I'm I'm told I'm totally sold on 32 two by two. That's what I'm gonna do this on. So that was that was my amazing, amazing husband's Christmas gift to me. So Harbor Haven is gonna be my focus piece. I do not have my fabric yet, but um I will be going down to Acorns. Probably not for first Thursday, which is making me cry, but we have to go down to Oregon um, the week later and we're going to leave early enough so that um, we can stop in at Acorns and I can select my fabric. So that is, um, that's going to be my big, big, big focus piece. Okay. The other thing that this just, this just cracks me up. My sister, I, 
she doesn't get it, okay? She does not understand the cross stitch, the, the thrill, the joy. She She's not a stitcher, it's not her thing, and that's okay. And I'm not saying that to be mean to my sister, but she gets me. And so she bought me a little cross stitch kit and it is adorable and I love it and I can't wait to stitch on it. She bought me a Star Wars cross stitch pattern. I think it's great. It's got fabric, it's got the floss, perfect. I can't wait to stitch this. I just think it's awesome. She knows that I like Star Wars. She knows that we went and saw Rise of the Skywalker, um, you know, the first weekend it was open. It's not her thing, and yet she went and she found this. So thank you. Thank you, sis. <laughs> and then the, the other thing that is so funny is she found me a ginormous <laughs> clothespin. And she was like, I don't know. I just thought you needed it. And I'm like, you know what? I totally needed it. And I I don't know what I'm mounting on this, but this is absolutely going to be what I mount some cross stitch thing on and I don't know what it will be and it will be fat. It'll be so much fun when I do it. Um, yeah, it's, it can hang up here somewhere, but yeah, she gave me that and I was like, I know what to do with that. I got to find the right piece for it. Who knows? Maybe, maybe it's my storm trooper piece. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, that is, um, that is where I'm at. So the other, oh, the other thing I was going to talk about is one of my um, friends on Floss Tube and who lives in this area and who um, comes to Stitchy Meetups is Lisa and her channel is Crossed by Floss. And she has suggested that it would be fun to stitch all of the freebie patterns that designers put on their websites. So I thought that was a brilliant idea. And so I am going to join Lisa in stitching from stash and doing freebie patterns. And one of the freebies that I'm really super excited um, to do is from... Um, a website it's called snow flower diaries and I'm sure you guys have heard this before but I'm gonna stitch her 12 her 12 months she's got you know January through December each each month has a you know a new little animal motif on it and here you, you can see that's already stitched up in the corner and so this is gonna be um, also an overarching theme for me this year. I'm kind of thinking January starting in just like a few days and I don't have fabric yet. So I'm, this is also something I'm going to pick up. I'm going to pick up um, fabric for these when I go down to acorns and threads um, here in a couple of weeks. So I'm totally going to blow my stitch from stash budget. But what can I do? I need the fabric. I can't stitch it if I don't know the fabric. So these are the first freebies that um, that I'm going to be doing. Um, Lisa has created a hashtag for Instagram. It's going to be freebie stitches 2020. So if you've got some freebies that are on your computer that you've downloaded and you've just never gotten around to stitching them, break them out, print them out. Let's do some freebies along with all the other stuff that we've got planned. So I'm, I'm going to do my Harbor Haven. I'm going to do some freebies. I got stuff on the floor that needs to get finished. Those are my plans. Those are my stitchy plans. So tell me what your stitchy plans are. Are you a planner at all? Does this like drive you crazy to have people talk about what, how they're planning? They're stitching out for the next year. You Do you fly by the seat of your pants and you're just like, this is the one that's speaking to me. That's what I'm stitching. You're nuts. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I don't mind if you call me nuts. I know I'm nuts. 
uh, I embrace that. <laughs> But that's that's where I'm at. Um, I have had a great, great time rediscovering um, cross stitching and discovering floss tube and all of you. And so I thank you for joining me on this crazy, nutty, fantastic stitching journey. And I can't wait to continue with you in 2020. So have a good New Year's. Stay safe. I hope that your stitchy plans are exactly what you want them to be and it all works out great for you. I am planning on having a fantastic 2020 stitching along with all this stuff that I've got going on. Anyway, thank you for joining. If you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe. You can hit the little bell for notifications if you do that thing. Leave me a comment telling me what your plans are. I would love to connect with you. All right. Until 2020, have a good rest of the year. Bye, Floss Tube. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs>